If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Let's study about nursing caries. So what is nursing caries? It is a very unique pattern of dental decay in very young children because of improper feeding habits. Now before we proceed on how this type of caries happen, let us see which unique pattern we are talking about. So this nursing caries, it will affect our primary teeth in some sequence and the sequence followed will be, first of all, it will involve the maxillary central incisor and it will involve the facial surface, then it will involve the lingual surface and then the mesial surface and distal surface. So this is how it involves the maxillary central incisor first. Then it will involve the maxillary lateral incisor. Here also same first facial then lingual and then mesial and distal will be involved. Then maxillary first molars will be involved. Then maxillary canine and second molars will be involved. So maxillary canine and second molars will be involved. Then mandibular molars will be involved at a later stage. So these teeth will be involved later. And one interesting and very important thing to keep in mind is that the mandibular anterior teeth, the mandibular anteriors, they are usually spared. So they are usually spared. And why is that so? This is because of two reasons. First of all, so here we have saliva. So we all know that saliva neutralizes the acid which is produced by the bacteria. So that is why, that is one of the reasons why the anteriors, the mandibular anteriors are spared because the sublingual gland orifices are here only. The opening of the sublingual gland is here. The second reason is that these have protection by the tongue. So when our tongue is sitting here, so there will be less chances of deposition of food and debris. So that is the reason the mandibular anteriors are usually spared. Now let us see how this lesion progresses, how the caries starts and how does it proceed. So initially we will have a demineralized dull white area as you can see that will be seen along the gum line. So this white area as we can see it is along the gum line on the labial aspect of maxillary incisors. Obviously the parents won't be able to detect it. Then these lesions will eventually become cavities and then it will involve the entire tooth in a ring like fashion. So the entire tooth will be involved in a ring like fashion and then the entire crown let me draw here for example this is a teeth and this is the root now the caries is involving the entire surface of the crown in a ring like fashion so eventually the crown will will be destroyed so only a root structure will be left so this was in brief about the clinical features of nursing caries. Now let us see why does it happen. So as we know caries involve four factors. One is the microorganisms. Then we have substrate. Then host factor. And then last but not the least time. So all these factors together contribute in the formation of caries. So when the first teeth erupts in the oral cavity. The microorganism that colonizes on the tooth is streptococcus mutans. So this streptococcus mutans, it is transmitted to the infant's mouth through the mother. So it will colonize the teeth and produce large amount of acid. Also, it will produce large amount of extracellular polysaccharides which favor plaque formation. Now let us see the role of substrate. So this was our teeth and we also know that we have microorganisms which is the streptococcus mutans. So these microorganisms, they will utilize the carbohydrate, carbohydrate and it will form dextrin. 
and this dextrin will adhere microorganism more microorganism to this tooth surface and will also cause the formation of acid that will demineralize the teeth now you must be wondering where this carbohydrate came from so in the child it will obviously come from the milk or milk formula fruit juices or any sweet syrup or if the pacifier is used which is dipped in honey chocolate etc now talking about host there could be hypermineralization or hypoplasia of teeth so so this will increase the susceptibility of the child to caries or there could be developmental grooves which can act as plaque retentive areas then comes the time so it is a very important factor so if the child sleeps with a bottle in his mouth the risk of the caries will increase because when the child has bottle in his mouth the salivary flow decreases so there will be more time for the carbohydrate to accumulate and the microorganisms will get more time to act upon the carbohydrate and that will lead to caries now the question is how do you manage so if the child comes to you and he has already decayed teeth you need to first manage the existing emergency means you have to manage the existing lesions then what you have to do you have to prevent the lesion to progress further you have to prevent the lesion from progressing further means you should make sure that it does not involve other healthy teeth then you should follow some preventive procedures and that also includes parents counseling means the child should not be given bottle as a pacifier and if the bottle is given it should contain water fluoridated water they should be advised to keep a diet record of the child for a week so that you can evaluate further what kind of diet the child is taking any pacifier which is dipped in any sweetening agent should not be used now as a preventive measure you can seal all the caries free pit and fissure or you can apply fluoride programs educate the parents very important so this wasn't short about nursing caries i hope you found the video helpful if yes do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to comment share and subscribe thanks for watching allah hafiz